All right, guys, I'm back on my dumb-ish. We're going back to purple. I have dyed my hair on this channel several times and uh, I will put out the disclaimer before we even jump into it. I'm not a hairstylist. I have no training. This is not something that if you're not comfortable dyeing your own hair, you're worried about ruining it, I would not recommend doing it. I've just come from a family with a mom who's dyed her own hair by herself for years. Um, she died, she started dyeing my hair when I was a teenager and then uh, I was blonde for a really long time and then I started doing color and I like the color a lot more. So I'm pretty comfortable dyeing my own hair. If it turns out uh, not great, then I normally just go back and dye it again a few days later. Definitely wouldn't recommend that with bleaching, but um, with, with the color dyes, it doesn't seem to really, um, it's actually made my hair healthy year since I stopped bleaching it and started adding color. So we're in the middle of 2020. It's been one hell of a year in so many ways. Um, we just learned that Nikki will not be going back in person to his job uh, until after Labor Day. Um, he's been working at home. I had applied for a job there too and we're kind of waiting for them to reopen to see if the job is still available. But that was why I had dyed my hair red because I needed a, um, a not purple color. I needed a, a natural color. And uh, now that we've learned that I don't have to worry about that for at least three more months, I said, forget it, I'm doing purple again. So here we are doing purple again. Sorry, that was a long backstory. Um, Nikki's great about cutting it, so he'll probably do his magic there. So I've dyed my hair purple several times on this channel using the same products that I've got here today. We've got the Arctic Fox Purple Rain, we've got the Arctic Fox Violet Dream, and we've got the Arctic Fox Wrath. I was trying to come up with something creative because I've done this on the channel so many times. Here's what I'm thinking. This morning I started by cutting off my dead ends and I cut myself bangs. We're in full, like, full mental breakdown mode, it's fine. I'm thinking we're gonna do pink, so we're going to do the Violet dream because that it's not pink is kind of the wrong color it's not like this pink but it is kind of like a deep like fuchsia purpley pink so that's going to be the underside then we're going to do purple rain which is my favorite on top of that and then i'm thinking my bangs i'm going to mix a little bit of wrath in with purple rain which makes this really dark purple and then we're just going to have like a full like layered head and if it looks terrible it's not like i'm really going anywhere so It'll just be you guys seeing it. Let's see what we can do with this. So uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna jump in. I have sectioned my hair off. The section that I have down currently is going to be the pink section. Now I will say my hair is incredibly thin, so I've gotten quite a few uses out of all of these uh, these bad boys. But yum. Um, but because my hair is so thin, it looks like there's like really nothing down. But I think when it's all like dried and styled, it's going to look appropriate. Oh yeah, I guess I should also say it's been a hot minute since I've dyed my hair on this channel. I never use gloves. I know people probably are like, what? I just don't do it. I, I did with when I bleached my hair because I was dealing with bleach, but like now it, it just, I, they, it washes out after like a day. It, hand sanitizer really helps take it out. So it's just too hard for me to function with the gloves on. So I just don't. <laughs> Plain and simple. All right, so like that's enough talking because I've been talking for a hot minute. We're just gonna jump in. I am expecting to be covered in dye. I normally am when I do this. Yeah, it's just kind of the way of the game. So that's why I threw this robe on because I never wear it and if it gets messed up, it gets messed up. Uh, it is light enough that I can still like move my arms because my other robe is like this big fuzzy one and I can't like, it gets in my way and it just makes everything a lot more challenging, so. I've really missed my purple hair. Like I didn't realize how much, cause I love the red too. And it's been, I think the last time I dyed my hair was right before we went to Disney. And when we went to Disney, um, I dyed it red. So it's the red that I had on in my hair currently. And that was in February, it was right before Valentine's Day. So it, I mean, it didn't really look that bad considering it had been four months since I did anything to it. I mean, it definitely needed to be cut. So I'm glad I finally did that. But I've been looking at like the, the last year around this time, like right after my birthday, which was in April was when I dyed my hair purple for the very first time. And so I, uh, I kept getting like Snapchat memories and like Facebook memories and stuff with my purple hair. And I was just like, I miss it. And then uh, we learned that Nikki wasn't going back to work anytime soon and didn't need to look professional anytime soon. So I was like, all right, well, that means I'm not going to be getting an interview or hired there anytime soon. So let me go ahead and dye my hair purple. And then I was thinking about it because forever ago we had dyed Nikki's hair blue and we talked about dyeing it pink, but then he was starting to look at like more professional jobs and stuff like that. And plus the job he was working in, even though it was not really like what I would classify like a professional setting, um, cause he was a server. They did not want him having colored hair either. He couldn't really get by with it. And now, now he's got three months. We can do whatever that we want to his head. So we're gonna dye his hair pink. Probably on the channel. Cause you guys like Nikki. So backstory, I've picked these up forever ago. 
after I dyed my hair purple the first time, because the first time I used the Feria from uh, L'Oreal, which is the, the red Feria is actually my favorite of the reds that I've used so far. I don't really like Wrath by itself. It would seem to leak. And leak is the best word for it, but like if it got wet at all, it would leave color residue, which I don't like. And I'm not sure. I tried blow drying it while it was setting. I tried wrapping it in plastic and blow drying it while I was setting and which is what they recommend doing and it's just nothing seemed to work for it. So that's why I don't use Roth on its own. I use um, the L'Oreal and I actually have, I've got like a Madison Reed that I really wanna do, but I was trying to save it for like, you know, when life resumes. So I've had it for a hot minute, but I'm still holding out on saving it to do it on camera when like, you know, life is back to a uh, kind of normal and we're actually out doing stuff. But I may just have to say whatever and do it next time I dye my hair and be like, oh, well, let's see how it works. This is where it like go, oh, this is where like having somebody else do your hair is so nice because I can't see behind my head, obviously. So I'm just like, I'm just hoping for the best here and guessing. I can definitely tell that I've missed some chunks though. I'm probably gonna have to go stand in a mirror and do it. Also, my hands look like I just um, killed Barney. Really quick way to show you guys what we did uh, off camera. I stopped and went into the bathroom just to make sure that I had all the areas covered. And then we got saran wrap. We rolled it around the hair and then we put another piece kind of over top of that to cover the area that's pink. Uh, I did have to close it off with a hair tie and they actually recommend covering your hair with saran wrap or plastic something to go on top of it when you finish with the color to let it set. Um, they actually recommend blow drying it with the saran wrap on too, with the plastic on um, to create, like I guess create like the kind of heat like helmet that they normally do at a hair salon. So um, so that's why I went ahead and grabbed the saran wrap. Quickly, little tip, little pro tip, uh, makeup wipes seem to do really well removing uh, any like color that you hit on your face or your neck area. So that's, I normally have at least one or a pack of them here just to grab and, and be able to do that. So so yeah, so, so far I've washed my hands uh, once and used some hand sanitizer. They're still a little pink, but they're not too bad. So we're moving on to purple. Purple, purple, purple. So I sectioned off a little bit more of my hair and we're just gonna go in and we're gonna do it in layers because that's the easiest way to make sure that I don't miss anything. Funny though, cause the, the purple, all of these colors we got, I think a year ago, right? Like right around a year ago. And I'd been looking at Arctic Fox anyway. And then we went into Sally Beauty's and they're buying, doing buy two, get three free. No, oh, they weren't. That's Harris Heater that does that. They were doing buy two, get one free. That's what they were doing. So I think I paid like 30 bucks for all three of them and they've lasted me this long in like multiple hair dyes. So I actually think that when I get done with this and I'm like trying to, it hit my leg, it's fine. It's not on the carpet. That's all that matters. <laughs> but I think when I'm done here and I'm waiting for it to sit and, uh, and to color my hair and make me look purple again, like the eggplant that I was born to be. Um, I think I'm gonna actually look at Sally Beauty online and just see if they happen to have them on sale because I definitely could do with some more colors and I definitely could do with um, some more of some replacements for these guys too because um, uh, yeah, they've lasted me well, but like the purple, I'm, as I'm doing the purple, I'm like, I hope I have enough to do what I want to do. Cause it's a little bit, God, I love the smell of the purple. The purple smells so good. I've talked about that with every video and I always forget how good it smells until I'm like actually in the process of it. And then I'm like, yes, it smells so good. There's a lot of things that I'm doing right now that I wouldn't recommend doing, but it always seems to turn out okay. So that's why I just go with it. I just, I've never had like my hair turn out awful. So I'm just like, well, good enough. <laughs> you know, you know, bud, <laughs> looking at you back there, bud. Why are you so quiet today? You're making my life so much harder. It's fine. Actually, what I should do before we get too crazy in this, since I said I wanted to do my bangs. Look at them bangs, y'all. I really lost it today. I said, I woke up this morning and said, I'm cutting bangs. And then I did it and I said, they don't look awful. Or maybe they do, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I didn't go super short bangs. I left them long enough that if I hated them, I could hopefully hide it, but. All right, going in, we're going in. We're just going for it, y'all, we're just going. I've done everything I can to try and keep it neat and now we're just trying to get coverage. I feel like it actually, in hindsight, would probably be a good idea to go in and do my bangs first maybe with the darker shades. But um, I have a lot of the purple in here right now. So we're just gonna have to go with the purple for right, the time being. So if I'm being 100% honest, as somebody who does not dye hair and should probably not dye her own hair, but does, the best thing that I've learned is that you just, once you get it kind of, oh my God, now I dyed my hair. Oh my God, my eyebrows gonna be purple. <laughs> Uh, I, it just, it's just about even distribution and then massaging it in and making sure everything's good, which is what my plan is at the moment. 
All right, I think it's time for we stop the camera and I just go fix this cluster mess and then we come back and do my bangs and then we, we see how it turns out. That was a little bit of a nightmare, but we are here now, so. I am covered in purple from head to toe, I'm pretty sure, because I haven't wiped off this purple thing on my leg. It is just going to be purple now uh, forever. So yeah, we're moving along. Uh, my my hands are purple. They are, they are very purple, but uh, I have not really done any of like the, like I use like a lot of times I'll use nail polish remover and stuff like that to try and kind of get a little bit of the color off too. Probably not super healthy for your hands, but I only do it every so often. Here we are doing well. So going in with the bang stuff now, I have mixed Wrath and Purple Rain together to make this. Um, obviously what we just put on my head was just straight Purple Rain. So yeah, so let's get, get this bad boy going. I think instead of trying to wrap my entire head in Saran Wrap though, I'm going to go find a plastic baggie, like a shopping bag and put it over my head. I think that will work more effectively than, uh, than the nightmare that we'll be trying to wrap my entire head with a saran wrap, which is very, very uh, clingy and will stick to itself and also probably will be a pain trying to, uh, to find enough to stick on my head. So I am actually brushing the color through this section because it's much easier to do it. And um, you know, the bangs, there's, <laughs> As terrible as it sounds, if I miss a little spot somewhere in the back of my head, people probably won't notice, but if I miss my bangs, people gonna be able to see. So uh, I'm gonna really do my best to make sure that this is all covered. It's a little choice I just made to make my dark, my roots darker too. <laughs> that was an on-camera choice that was made because I have a lot of, of stuff left, so here we go. I could, I actually thought about that. Should I dye my eyebrows? <laughs> I should I dye my eyebrows? Should I? What am I gonna do though? Just have like semi purple eyebrows and just use my normal eyebrow? I don't know. I don't know. I'm really considering it, bud. You shouldn't have said that. I'm very, I'm, I'm very open to ideas right now that I probably shouldn't be open to. A few moments later. You all saw it here first. Nikki made me dye my eyelashes, eyebrows, whatever. You look like this is a horrible idea, but you said it, so this was your idea. Everything I've done in my life, all all the makeup, all the hair, everything, I've never dyed my eye, my eyebrows uh, before, so I'm like very nervous about this. It looks great. It does not, it does not look great right now. <laughs> all right, let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. All right, guys, so this is my final product. So much happened off camera while we were finishing this up and I was doing my makeup. So, so let's just start by saying it did not come out the way I was hoping it would. There is obviously very little difference, differentiation, difference, differ, I can't say that word. There's very little difference between the section of my hair that was supposed to be light and the section of my hair that was darker and the section of my hair that was really dark. I think it looks good. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's just not what I was wanting. So technically if we're ranking this in the win fail, it's probably a fail. I actually did notice some patchy areas too where I can still kind of see my red. So this was definitely one of the worst times I've uh, I've had having uh, used the Arctic Fox. Normally it turns out pretty good even if I feel like it's gonna be kind of hairy. It looks good. I'm not bothered by it at all, but it's just not exactly a win because it's not what we were hoping to come out with, obviously, as you guys can tell. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it, it just wasn't the best. So here we are. It still looks good. It just did, it, it was a swing and a miss. I'm happy with it, unfortunately. I started off the video by saying the reason I wanted to go ahead and do the purple is because I've been wanting to do it for a while and I probably wouldn't be applying for any professional jobs. And literally off camera, we I'm sitting with the hair dye in and Nikki was like, hey, there's a payroll job open at my place. And I was like, so I applied for that. So I might be dying this back real quick as in like maybe tomorrow or the end of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was really fun uh, dyeing my hair on camera again. It's been a while since I've done it. Um, the past couple times I did it, I just did it off camera because you guys have seen me. Like I said, dye my hair purple before, red before, all that stuff. So I was trying to come up with something new. Sorry it didn't exactly work out, but here we are. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please definitely give it a thumbs up. It helps our channel out a ton. And most importantly, if you haven't subscribed yet, we would love to have you as a member of the Dark Angel family. We try and come up with creative and fun things to do related to beauty. We have been workshopping what I hope to be a new series that we uh, kind of, I could do a get ready with me and we talk about just different 
media things being like movies or TV shows or reality shows that we watch. And I kind of like spoil it for you guys, but also talk about it. So if you've seen it and you want somebody to talk about it with, I am your person. You'll get my uh, commentary on it. And sometimes I'm funny, sometimes I'm not, but sometimes I'm funny. So it, I hope it'll be like a cool series that we can start doing once a week. So. Yeah, definitely uh, definitely consider subscribing. That was a whole lot of things to say at the end there. Sorry to throw all that out, out at you, but um, if you're still with me, I love you. So yeah, cool. Oh, uh, I don't really have much else to say. So other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. You stay girly with the dark twist.